Welcome back to the shop. Got us a Husqvarna 455 Rancher here. The oiler has quit working on. We're gonna repair that oiler by replacing it today. That and the worm gear. These are the parts that we'll be replacing that with. That is the oiler assembly. Oh, and that is the worm gear. As an interesting note, this unit had done been in the shop. A uh, customer ran it until the sprocket was just completely eat down. And that melted the top of that worm gear. The customer wanted to try it without replacing the oil pump. The oil pump would not work. So uh, we're gonna go in there today and replace all that. You'll see me put this, the oil gear, the worm gear or oiler gear back in because the one that's in it's already brand new. So let's get over here and get started. So to get to that oiler, we're gonna remove the bar and chain. Remove our bar cover. We'll remove our bar and chain. To get to that oiler, which is behind this plate, we'll have to remove this clutch and this sprocket. To do that, we'll have to block our piston. I'm gonna run through that real quick just to demonstrate. Uh, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. I have some videos on how to do that. That is just part of the repair that we have to do today. So I'll try to remember to link that in if you wanna see more detail how to do that. We're gonna remove this where we can block our piston. Stick our rope in there and secure our piston. Now we're gonna remove our clutch so that we can remove our sprocket. Once again, I have a more detailed video on that. I'll try to remember to post that link. Remember that that clutch is clockwise, removes counterclockwise, puts it back on. We'll remove our clutch. Lift our sprocket off and our sprocket bearing. Now this piece here is what drives our oil pump. It should just lift off. Inspect it while you have it off. Make sure that those teeth are good. That's a pinion. So now we're gonna remove this plate so that we can access our oiler. That's our oiler right there. So we're gonna start by doing that by removing that screw. And then that plate should lift up and out of the way. So this is our oiler. I'll give you a little bit of view of that after I get it blowed out. Take this opportunity to clean it. As you can hear, it's starting to rain here, so it may get a little loud. So let me try to give you a basic explanation of what you're looking at here. This is the new oiler that fits in like this. This part fits underneath this grommet, and that's where the oil is fed. You see that hole? There's a hole on the other side, and you'll see it when we take this out, but there's another grommet and hose that goes into the oiler tank underneath that, that lines up with. When we take this screw out, we should be able to pull all this out in one piece. We'll inspect our hose, and if it's good, we'll go back with the same hose. So remove this screw. And then we'll remove our oiler. It should just lift out. That's our bad oiler. And that's our oil supply. This is how it gets to the bar. There's a little hole in that grommet. That is what that other hole slides into to make it draw the oil. So to replace it with the new one, you'll notice there's a hole here in the bottom. This is the part that goes into that. It sticks out the bottom for your adjustable oiler. That way you can reach up here with a screwdriver and adjust it. You wanna just drop that adjustment bolt 
down through that hole. There's also a line up notch that lines up so you know you have it in the right place. That way this sets into here. So we're gonna drop it back in. Nothing exceptional about that. Then we'll put our screw back in. Snug it down. Then we'll replace our oil supply line, ensuring that that hole fits over that. Tuck it back into its slot. Make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. We'll slide our worm gear back into position. I like to gently turn it back and forth as I'm pushing down. That helps to make sure you don't booger up them teeth. Put very little grease on that sprocket bearing and re-put it on. Now when you put this clutch or this sprocket on, you see those two grooves? They need to high line up with those two. That's what actually drives that worm gear to make that oiler operate. Then we're gonna put our clutch back on. Normally right here, they make tools. I normally put the brake on when I crank it to tighten that clutch and then put it into a piece of wood. But I have had a few people comment that didn't think I was tightening it, so I'm gonna tighten this one on camera where you can see it. On this style, I just put my punch on the back on two sides and lightly tap it. So that's an oil pump replacement. Now we just need to take our piston block out put our plug in and we'll see if it's oiling. So we got it back together. Let's fire it up now and see if we're getting any oil. What we're gonna be looking for is oil coming out of here. So as you can say that see that's a pretty comp or a pretty simple job, basic tools, a little bit of knowledge. With the right tools, right environment, that should be about a 10-15 minute job. Appreciate y'all joining me.